Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to add a custom texture to a block. So first off we're going to actually um, import our custom texture which I have right here um, as my green ore.png into our mod and the way we're going to do this is first I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go into my MCP tutorials and then go to source Minecraft Assets Tutorial Mod, so where our mod is, and we're going to create a new folder called Textures, and then inside of this a folder called Blocks. And then we're going to paste in our green ore.png. Now we're going to rename this to the name of our, um, our block in the game, so in this case it's going to be blocktutorial.png. So all right, so now um, we can actually add some code to our um, block class. And what we're going to do is go into our uh, block class. And the first thing we want to do is add, a is add a string inside of our class. And this is going to be string, um, we'll call it texture name. Now we're going to declare the value of the string inside of our constructor. So we're going to add a new parameter, and this is going to be string texture name. And then we can say texture name equal, equals texture name. We actually have to say this dot texture name. And we're going to set texture name to private and static. There we go. So now you'll see it's going to give us an error here. We're just going to set our texture name to the same thing we set our unlocalized name to. Um, now, in previous versions, we just used our unlocalized name, and that was easier because we could say um, get unlocalized name to, which would only return this right here. Now, currently, um, get unlocalized name returns tile dot and then this right here. Um, that's not really a problem. You could just say get unlocalized name um, when we add in our texture code later, but that way you would have to say rename this to tile dot block tutorial, um, and you may forget to do that, and it can cause some issues later on. So I just like to do this. Um, I think it's a lot clearer to see, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, now we're going to actually add a method, and this is going to register our texture with this block. So it is at side only, side dot client in all caps, public, public void register icons, icon register, um, and we'll call this reg. And we have to import site only and icon register. If it'll let me import it. There we go. Um, and now we just add a single line of code inside of this method, and that is this dot item icon or dot block icon, sorry, I'm looking at my reference sheet and I have code for an item, um, but it's basically the same. So this dot block icon, block icon is a um, variable declared in our block, in the block class, um, not our block class. And then we're going to say equals reg dot register icon, and we're going to say texture name. And actually we have to say tutorial dot mod ID and then we're yeah sorry um just let me delete that um, I messed up a little bit we're going to say tutorial dot mod ID plus and then in parentheses a colon plus texture name now what this is going to do is it's going to give us a string that looks something like this tutorial mod colon and then um, what's it called? Block tutorial. Dot PNG. The dot PNG is added automatically by Forge. Um, so what it's going to do is it's going to look inside of the tutorial mod assets folder, which is right here, 
And then it automatically knows to look inside of textures, blocks, and then it's going to look for blocktutorial.png. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly set this to a creative tab so that we can test it. Dog tab block. Oh, there's my dog barking. Um, I'll, I cover setting creative tabs and other block parameters in my custom block parameters video. Go ahead and watch that if you want to uh, learn about all that stuff. But now if we run the game to test out our new texture. Then we go into our single player creative world. You'll see that our tutorial block has its wonderful, nice green um, or like texture right here. So um, I'm just going to cover the other method really quickly. The other method um, that automatically uses the unlocalized name that we declare right here is going to be just after the colon we're going to say this dot get unlocalized name and the one issue the one issue I have with this is that then you have to go in here and say tile dot block tutorial dot png otherwise it just won't register um, your texture I don't think it'll crash the game but you know you'll get errors and your texture will be all pink or something so that is it for this tutorial. Uh, source code will be in the description as usual. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.